I'm going to show you how to put a pattern or texture on your letters in Inkscape. If you are new to Inkscape, I have a few tutorials on my blog, ensigninsights.com, or there are a few other videos on my YouTube channel. So you can see here, I put these patterns in my A's and my B's, and it's so crazy easy. You're going to love how easy this is, and it gives it such a fun look to the letter. You can use any object that you want to put a texture inside. I'm doing letters here, but you could do a full word, it could be a heart, it could be a square, it could be any object, any shape. So I have my letter, that's what I'm going to use, my G and my F, and then I chose this watercolor background. I got this from Creative Market. If you're not subscribed to their email list, you definitely should. They send you free things every Monday, and it's awesome. So I got this beautiful watercolor from Creative Market, and I want the inside of my G to look like this watercolor. So what I'm going to do is place my watercolor. It needs to be underneath the G. Right now it's on top of it. So I'm going to go up here and click on lower selection to bottom. Now my G is on top. Then what I want to do is make sure my G is on top of the place that I want the pattern. So I want some of these gold specks in my G. If I didn't want those gold specks, I would put it up here and it would be just the blue. But I want those gold specks. So I'm going to place it inside right there. And then you need to select both items, so my G and my watercolor. To select both, you're going to click Shift, hold down Shift, and click the watercolor. So now you can see they're both selected. You can tell by the dotted lines. And then all you do, right click set clip. And that's it. There's a beautiful watercolor inside my G now. It was so simple, so easy. So let's do that again with my F. This one I also got from Creative Market. So I'm going to place it underneath. Once again, this is on top, so I need to lower selection to bottom. Now my F is on top. And I think I want this a little bit smaller. And I kind of want to line it up with the straight line of the F. There we go. So once again, I need to select both. So shift, click on the F. They're both selected. And then I'm going to right click, set clip. And there you have it. There is my cute little F with a texture. I could have chosen more of the yellow, but I just moved it over. I'll show you that. So maybe I want it to be on that line. So I'll select both of them. Set clip. There it is. So now it's a different color. I hope you enjoyed this super simple trick. If you use this and you post on Instagram, tag me, show me what you come up with. I'm really excited to see what you do.